Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And today you join me behind the wheel of a brand new Scania G500. It's a 6x2 tractor unit. So yeah, we are making our way back to AOC commercials in Carrick Tool in County Cork. I'm just taking one of these tractor units out for a short test drive. Uh, I've not driven the G500 before, so we do have a straight six cylinder diesel engine developing 2,550 Newton meters of torque. Quite a nice drive. Now this would be relatively low on spec, so we don't have any air ride front suspension. Uh, we just have an air ride rear suspension and uh, we do have the mid lift. So the G series, as I explained before in a previous video, how it differs to the R series is that it's lower, lower to the ground. So it's a bit easier climbing in and out of, but we do have a bigger intrusion on the engine hump here in the cab in the G series. So obviously it's cheaper to buy than the R series, but we have just as much power as you'll find in an R series in an R500, but this G500, uh, as I said, we have 500 horsepower and 2,550 Newton meters of torque. As I, I explained before in previous videos, the gear changes are faster in the new gen. They change 45% faster than the old generation Scania's. And it's immediately noticeable when you're driving these trucks. It really is the first thing you notice when you're driving out of the dealerships. So yeah, we're very close to AOC commercials now. And I really like the display here on the new gens as well because you can connect up your phone and you have your satellite navigation. You can use Google Maps. So I'm just taking this out on a short drive and I'll show you all around the interior and the exterior once we get back to AOC commercials in Carrick Tool in County Cork. I want to bring you in there to show you the great display of brand new 2020 trucks they have on display. They have a very nice 730S. I'll show you around that as well. the drive in the Scania G500 back here to AOC commercials in Carrick Tool in County Cork so I'll be showing you all around the G500 a quick look around and then we'll be looking at all the brand new trucks they have on display here okay let me take you for a quick walk around the G500 so this is a stock truck for AOC so you can buy this truck if you wish it is for sale now we have the LED lamps at the rear and your batteries are positioned at the rear also. Now you can get these batteries positioned up here if you want and just have this area here at the back lighter on your back axle. So that's an option, you can have it. And uh, we don't have any adjustable fifth wheel on this. We do have the two diesel tanks, one at either side for a total capacity of 850 liters. And the AdBlue tank, you can see it there, it flows in into the middle of your chassis. And we have a full air deflector kit at the rear. Um, you see this Susie design here. Um, I was never a fan of these holders. See them for holding your Susies. Can we please have them changed? Um, never a fan of them. These ones are fine for holding your other Susies, but those ones, never really a fan of them. If I zoom over to this G500, uh, I can show you them there. Look what they look like when they're connected up, but. A lot of drivers don't even bother using them because they're just too awkward to um, tidy them up. So uh, yeah, something I would like to have changed <laughs> if I'm redesigning the Susie holders. But anyway, let's continue on and give you a look at the G500. Now we do have a glass panel here. You can have that blank if you want with just steel, but this one here is uh, specced with the glass panel. Let's just hop inside the G500. Now this has the OptiCruise gearbox, 
so a 12 speed gearbox in the G500 and we have a full uh, adjustment there on the driver's seat and it's also heated and cooled and the Scania Griffin embossed on the headrest we just have one bunk in this G500 and decent enough height in the cab you can get a lower cab also if you wish and we do have the big sunroof there and the three lockers above there as well but uh, yeah it's all still wrapped in plastic here oh yeah let me just show you quickly the uh, the fridge so let me pull that open so it is a bit on the shallow side but it does go quite deep in so that's nice to have um, of course the G series it sits a bit lower so it's easier to climb in and out of but in the R series you would have more space and the engine would sit lower in the cab so you do lose a bit of space with the G series but uh, it is of course less expensive than the R series but let's just start it up and give you a quick sound of the engine it is quite quiet on uh, start up there we go <laughs> and we have our usual extras here like your lane departure warning and our advanced emergency braking and our hill hold function and all your lighting adjustment here traction control and we do have a power takeoff switch here and your two USBs but I like the display here because you can connect up your phone and you can use Google Maps and we have all the controls there on the steering wheel we can go up and down through our menu and down here we have our cruise control and over here we have voice activation for the stereo so let me click on that and just show you there you have your different voice commands here and you can pick your artist and your song yeah or song so that's very good very nice feature to have your voice activation and all the controls on the door there we can adjust the headlamp uh, beam adjustment and your headlight switch there all the controls for your windows which are one touch up and down now they don't go down fully they only go down to about here because it is the G series so um, that is your gear selector there so we can go up and down through our gearbox and we do have an auto function for the exhaust brake so you switch that to auto and you just dab your brakes and the exhaust brake will come on automatically and we have a manual function here as well for going up and down through the gearbox and getting more revs in each gear obviously when you're driving in manual mode so yeah let's just uh, hop quickly outside uh, just to give you a look at the exterior at the front so yeah it is uh, oh we do have the two air horns on this um, particular model as well um, I must actually press the air horns <laughs> and give you a sound of that yeah it's loud enough guys <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm just gonna walk through all of the other trucks here at AOC here at the back of the two P360s just uh, having a look around it's always nice to see them with the bodies off just to give you a look at the engineering so we've got the uh, back axle there super single lift axle and all your airbags look at this airbag here you never see this when the bodies are on these trucks but it's always nice to see it isn't it uh, just giving you a quick look around it all the underpinnings but let's move on to this s650 this is a six by two he's got the tag axle there at the rear uh, double wheel rear tag and he's got the aluminium wheels and let me just show you the catwalk here this is finished off very nicely look at this very well done right up to the stack look at this I really do like that and he's also got the light bar there at the back uh, that's an option now you see these narrow air deflectors I've not seen these before and I'm I was trying to figure out like why is it narrow at the back of the cab and the only reason I can think of is if it was a longer air deflector maybe this stack would affect it with the heat that's the only reason I can think of so uh, yeah if you see it there look with the R450 the way it's wider but this one is very narrow but yeah it's just uh, something there that I noticed and you have the chrome there and the glass panel at the back and all these hydraulic hoses so let's just walk around and give you a look at the S Transport 
brand new R450 and he's got the hub there at the rear matching in with the side skirts and he does have two holders there for fire extinguishers at the rear here in the Highline R450 and he has hydraulic hoses there as well and our, his hydraulic oil tank here so let's just move on to the brand new R540 so this is my first time seeing one of these apart from the one that I saw in Sweden first time seeing one of these in Ireland the 540 so we have a straight six-cylinder diesel engine developing 2700 newton meters of torque which is the same torque figure as the new generation V8s with 520 horsepower and the same torque figure as a previous generation R560 uh, 2700 newton meters so it's just starting to drizzle rain at the moment but let's move on to the S730 so yeah the most powerful engine you can get in Scania's lineup at the moment 3500 newton meters of torque uh, until that is the new flagship comes out <laughs> if it's if it's ever going to come <laughs> it's definitely coming next year guys sometime sometime but uh yeah he has the hubs there matching in as well so this would have been all factory painted in france this truck was assembled in france and he has a uh, 850 liter um, diesel capacity in the two tanks and he has his ad blue tank positioned here some of them as you can see are positioned in between here but uh, yeah, this one is very high up off the ground. Now it's not on air, in case you're thinking, uh, this has the air <laughs> risen up, it's not. This is on springs, front and rear. So um, yeah, it was spec this way just for better ground clearance, but it's so high up off the ground. <laughs> uh, I do have the keys of it, I'm gonna hop inside, but uh, I'm six foot two guys, okay? And if I reach up here, look, I can barely reach the window on the driver's side. So, uh, yeah, it's very high up off the ground. I think he is going to change the bumper at the front. Uh, I'm not too sure, but just look how high up it is. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, look, it would be very good for, you know, uh, swinging around curbs and all that. You'd have great ground clearance, so um, it would be less prone to damage. So let me just hop up here and, okay, let me just give you a look at the height of the floor, okay? <laughs> look. Huh? Just gives you an idea of, of how high up it is. Okay, uh, climbing up into the brand new S730. So, oh, I hear another truck pulling around there. I don't know what it is. But anyway, we, he does have the double bunk in this S730. And let me just check here. Um, yeah, he has the storage box there and the fridge on this side. So. A far bigger fridge than the G500, of course. But uh, you're getting into big space. Oh, I never noticed this earlier. He does have the microwave as well. Oh, that's very nice. So, oh, they're just driving out in their van there. Uh, the Scania van, AOC. So yeah, I have the key. Look at this very nice red stitching as well. So let me just move down the steering wheel and give you a look. Okay, oh yeah, and you see the way the Scania Griffin is black in this, whereas the other ones would be blue. So let me just uh, start it up. Here we go, 730 horses. Okay, let's just knock it off here. Very nice display, isn't it? With the red all around it, uh, around the instrument binnacle. And we do have a holder there for your phone and red stitching all around the driver's seat with the V8 embossed on the headrest so yeah the S730 and we do have the clutch on demand system on this S730 so the very same as the S650 uh, I showed you there a while back so uh, oh yeah look at this from the options list here at AOC look it's a welcome lamp so you see the Scania Griffin there um, it connects up here so if you get the lamp you can fit it here and you'll have a very nice Scania Griffin shining on the ground so yeah it's available here at AOC just uh, look for James Kenny he look he look after you and okay I'm just gonna close that door there and we've got a second s650 just driving off there and you'll notice there at the back he's got the hydraulic tank 
and different positioning there for the Susies and he's got the mid lift super single there and he also has that black panel and the chrome piece around the window there all very nicely done so I hear another truck behind me oh we've got a DAF XF there with a nice Suzu out the back JD's recovery in Cork okay I'm going to um, show you around these two R500 Scania's here so the very same power output as the G500 I was driving so 2550 Newton meters of torque and they have very nicely done there the uh, Collins crest on the back panel so I'm just going to walk around the rear of these Scania's because I just want to show you the positioning for the battery pack now usually on all these new generation Scania's it would be positioned at the back as I always show you but here on these trucks it's positioned here so the very same position as the S730 uh, the red one and we do have a maximum capacity holding for the diesel tanks so we have 1500 litres so two 750 litre tanks so uh, that's very good they should get very good range from these new R500s so yeah they'll be taking delivery of these trucks very soon and two more Scanias to add to their growing fleet uh, Collins Transport and that about wraps us up here from AOC Commercials in Carrick Tool in County Cork in Ireland very nice drive today in the G500 and checking out their big lineup here for 2020 I really like the S730 guys or should I say 730S as Scania had to rearrange the badge because of some issue with Daimler having issues with the layout of the badge so yeah it's now called the 730S <laughs> just in case you're wondering but yeah that's where I wrap it up guys please do join me next weekend for another video thanks and do give this one a thumbs up if you liked it chat to you next weekend guys take care cheers and we do have the battery um, in the Scania G500 I'm back here at AOC Commercials in see the Scania Griffin there so that would be positioned. Oh, where's the lamp? <laughs>